Hey everyone, welcome to the Coding Monk. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn about how you can deploy your Laravel application to the DigitalOcean in just few minutes. So DigitalOcean has service called App Platform. App Platform can be used to deploy various kinds of application like your front-end application, back-end application, your web services, your different kind of workers, your databases. So this is a very super simple service provided by DigitalOcean. So I have created one test repository of fresh Laravel application and this is the application I'm going to use to deploy my Laravel application to DigitalOcean, right? So to deploy this application, you will need to create the app platform app. So I'm going to this app platform first and then I will be selecting this create app option right so i have already connected my github with the digital ocean so i don't need to connect my github to this digital ocean platform again but if you are new to the digital ocean and if you are doing this for first time you will need to connect your github to the digital ocean right so let me create this new app and it will ask me to connect to my service provider source code service provider right so it's the github and here I am selecting test Laravel app and it will also load all the branches you have into this repository. So I want to deploy my main branch. If you have many other branches available in your repository, you can select one of it. If you want to manage your various development environment like production, staging and development and you have different branches for managing all these things, so you can select different branch according to your need also if your repository is a mono repo and you have application into subdirectories then you can also specify the directory for specific application here right and i want to choose this auto deploy option so whenever there is a change into my branch if i push any commit to my branch or source code repository then it will auto deploy my application with the new changes so that continuous integration i want with this application and that's a really good feature and that I want to utilize. So I'm selecting this auto deploy feature and clicking on to this next button. Now here you'll be given or you'll be assigned a random application name and I want to edit the server configuration to the minimum. So let me go to the server configuration so currently it is $12 a month and I want to choose minimal configuration this is also based on your needs if you think your application can have a lot of load or a lot of traffic and you want to provide maximum throughput you can choose it accordingly there are various kind of CPUs and memory instances available into DigitalOcean that you can choose according to your need so I'm going to select this $5 a month instance and Currently, I'm specifying only one container, right? You can also choose multiple container if you choose this set container to auto scale. So that is available when you choose higher instance sizes. But for $5 a month, that option is not available because I am choosing my minimum instance size and DigitalOcean thinks that you are just trying or you are just testing with the DigitalOcean, right? And if you choose higher instance, it means that your application is basically prone to have a high traffic, right? So I'm selecting this for the taste and clicking on to this save button. You can also edit various build commands. For example, if your Laravel application itself contains a React application or any front-end application and you want to run certain commands before deploying, then you can specify those commands here. And you can also specify port number. My application will be running on 8000 port. So I'm specifying 8000. I think that's it. I need to go to back. And if you want to specify additional resources, then you can do it. For example, if you want to select the database or add the database, then you can do. As of now, I don't need it. And I can specify the environment variables here. So let me go to the bulk editor. In this bulk editor, you can paste your whole environment file. So let me go to my Laravel application and just copy all these environment variable and save it. You can specify values for 
different environment variables according to your need it is as is just an example purpose i'm not going to change anything and just click on to this save button and click on to next you can also specify in which region you want to deploy this application by default my region is bangalore so i'm choosing that only and click on to this next button again and create resources so this will spin up new digital ocean droplet and this will build my application first and then it will deploy it to server so let's wait for a few minutes and i think this application will be deployed you can see build logs from here and you will be able to see the build activity so it says that git repo has been cloned and my app build is happening it has installed npm packages and i think it is installing platform packages all right application has been built now it is uploading to the internal container environment so our application basically is being deployed to the containers which is managed by DigitalOcean. i think DigitalOcean uses under the hood heroku's environment maybe i'm not sure about it but as you can see they are adding a layer of node.js images and php images to the container so build is completed now I think they will deploying so application already started running and deployed successfully so if I go to the overview and if I click on to this button live app or this URL it should open up the Laravel application so see this is super easy to deploy your Laravel application to the cloud you don't need to be super pro into DevOps it's very easy using the digital ocean to deploy your application with the just few clicks and configuration, you can deploy your application to the cloud. And it's easy to scale using the digital version as well. You just need to select server size and number of instances you want to spin up for your application, right? So this is all about deploying your application to the digital version with the app platform. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe, like and comment down if you have any questions, right? And I will be posting more videos about app platform and how you can use various configurations to deploy your other applications as well, right? So thank you so much for watching. Feel free to comment down if you have any queries or questions. I'll be super happy to help you. Thank you so much.